Um, what's good? Uh, my name is Naya. Um, doing my second um, book review. Uh, the book that I'm reviewing is the second volume of the Life is Strange series. Um, I did my first ever book review, which was volume one. Um, if you haven't watched that, uh, check that out. Um, now I'm doing the second one. Now this one was really interesting. So I tried my best to write a little bit of notes just to, um, you know, know what I'm talking about. Cause sometimes I could go off, off, off based, but I really enjoyed this. Like I really enjoyed this one. Like this was really good, really interesting. So I'm a, this is the notebook where I wrote some notes. Um, so volume two waves which is the name of the book opens up with a recap from the first volume and um loads a question for Matt, which is what would she find in this new timeline with chloe and rachel alive and basically what would she lose because honestly and if you played the first game with william you know if you save William and Rach and Chloe gets hit, she's paralyzed, but Rachel is still dead. So how will a timeline with Rachel, Chloe, and Max exist in one? How what would take for that timeline to exist? Also in this volume, Chloe and Rachel are together. So hashtag Emma Price if you are a Emma Price uh, shipper. I am one as well. I I do still like Matt and Chloe. I have both ships. No shipping wars. Um, during this book, we met our mystery character. Let me go show you who he is. So I am pretty sure each book is gonna have like four chapters. Hold up. Let me give you a better picture of him. If you can see. The guy I'm pointing at, this is our mystery character. He seems to have like a supernatural element to him. Of course, we don't know that we don't get to know that until like maybe the second chapter or so. We don't really get to know who he is. We just know that, you know, he's always around the scene. He's disappearing. Max is seeing him. Max can see him at one point, and then the next scene she can't see him. So we got throughout this book, Matt's thinking that she's crazy, um, that you know she's the only person that can see him. Let me get on my um, go on the chat just in case anybody say anything. Also, before I get to that point, I wrote down some notes from chapter one. Um, Chloe and Max had this little conversation. And I wrote down a point from that chapter. Max was like, I mean, when I went to Seattle, Chloe was like, no more apologizing. Max is in the past. Okay. But I wrote down, I believe that they need to talk because deep down, I believe Matt, Chloe's still inside, even though she said it was okay, it's in the past. Deep down, some part of her still resents Max from, it's not more of her leaving. Because it's her parents' decision to take Max to Seattle. It's the not texting anymore, not responding, stop being in contact for five years. So I think, honestly, Chloe's kind of lying to herself when she's like, oh, it's in the past, it's okay. Because if that was me, deep down, I kind of resent her because it's like, all this all this stuff that happened with me, I can't, I couldn't talk to my best friend because she stopped responding to me and which is why I think they should have had a conversation especially I'm gonna keep making um points to the first game um when Kate called Max and this was a big point to saving Kate Chloe got mad at uh, Max it was like oh you made friends for five minutes and you can't you know you can't talk to me so that resentment was really there and you had a choice to either take the call or not take the call of course i took the call because like chloe i love you but 
that's not that's not at like this. And then Chloe and Rachel have a vulnerable moment about Rachel moving for um theater on tour. As you know, and before the storm, Rachel had big plans to go to LA to be a star. And um flashback to Life of Strange One when Jefferson kidnapped Max. He I think he, I remember he saying LA would have broke Rachel because she has all this power she has all these dreams and everything but LA will live or break you and that's what he said and that's what is kind of going on with Rachel right now in its volume let me go to that page Boom. Cause I, I want, I want y'all to also see. I don't know what chapter it is. Um, well, I'm about to go through the chapter. Also, before I, as I'm looking for that chapter, um, their friends from the first volume is in this came to this new timeline. But of course, they don't know Max. Max knows them, but they don't know Max. And of course, that kind of hurts Max because it's like, I have all these memories from the timelines that I'm in, but they don't know me. They don't know the memories we made. And I'm not gonna lie, that would hurt me. Cause it's like, especially if you have all these memories, you know all these personal things about you, about them. They don't look at you crazy like you've been stalking them. But how can you explain that you're a time traveler? Well, them even more looking at you crazy like, huh? Look. Okay, this is chapter three. Boom. Boom. Doo -doo. Boom. I'm, as I I'm keep looking for this page, um... Max is having a internal issue with, of course, like I said, she has all these memories and all these different uh, and all these realities and all these worlds that she's in. But the people that she has interacted don't have any memories with her. So it's kind of clashing and kind of overwhelming her. And then she kind of throws a little storm. Um, and Rachel told Chloe, like, hey, that's your best friend. Like, I only know Max for like a couple of years. I don't have that relationship with her. You have that relationship with her. And I think you are the per you are the person that needs to talk to her so we can figure out what's going on. And so possibly she can let us in. Let's see the first page. Mm. No, it might have to be chapter two because I don't know. They don't really have pages. Like you you have to you have to you have to look. Okay, this is chapter one. I'm not editing this either, so <laughs> y'all gonna see this part two. Oh, this is um you know, a scene where this is in chapter one. Uh, Matt's kind of like talking to herself because honestly before we really get into knowing who the mystery man is Max has no one really to talk to about this especially this is a different version of Chloe this is a Rachel when she's alive she has no one to talk to and if she talked to them about this is she believes it's going to destroy them because Rachel's dead and the first, the first uh, present, Max, uh, when you save William, Rachel's dead. Rachel is dead, and that's inevitable. But in this universe, she's alive. Mm. Oh, this is the page where I brought up that conversation where I believe Max and Chloe 
need to have a real conversation and Chloe needs to stop saying, oh, it's in the past, it's okay. Because you know if deep down, like if you're not the type of person who expresses your emotions and stuff and you don't want to talk about certain stuff that hurt you, if you get a little liquor in your system or a little drugs in your system, all those feelings that you feeling might come out and then now both of y'all going to be feeling shitty and sad because you withholding your true emotions which is why i said they really need to have a conversation because i think deep down inside chloe still resents um max for i guess just not responding no more or leaving um and just not coming back because even though she don't i rarely say she resents max the keep count of how many times she mentions oh you were gone, or you left, or something like that, or in the words of those same lines. Keep a count. You will see that Chloe does have has a candle of resentment towards Max. And kind of rightfully so, but y'all still need to talk. Y'all need to have that conversation. And you need to acknowledge y'all decisions. Because in one of these chapters, Max did uh, have a conversation with Rachel. And she did acknowledge that, hey, she was a bad friend. She acknowledged that about herself. Which is why her and Chloe needs to have that conversation. Okay, I think we're right here. Um, no, it's not this page. Was it? This might be the like the first page of when um Rachel and Chloe was having a vulnerable moment about um Chloe, I mean about Rachel leaving for tour because obviously she's not getting enough gigs, she's not getting a lot of gigs or gigs with sentimental value. So I'm gonna read a page uh I'ma read a page from this page and the next page. What's good, Miami? How you doing? So, as you can see, I'm kind of doing like a live book review. Um, I like to show pages and shit because I, I can't do, I can't be like a normal, regular book reviewer. So, I'm doing my own spin on, spin on it, whatever. How you doing? Uh, okay, where, where am I going to start off? Rachel, <clears throat> my ladies, I have news. Oh, yeah? Good or bad? It's sort of good, but sort of bad. Cryptic. So I got a recall. That's kind of awesome news. How is that bad? Which one is it? I'm good. I'm chilling. I finished this book. So now I like to do, when I finish like books, um, I like to do a live review that same day so I can have, I can see all my thoughts out. Um, I try writing notes, but of course, sometimes I still go off, off basis. Um, well, it's not for TV or movies, it's for theater, kind of. I mean, it's Shakespeare, but it's a tour. I play a few theaters, but it's mostly schools and community spaces, that sort of thing. I'm not seeing this bad. How long is the tour? Six months. Holy shit, that's amazing. That's like a real job. Yeah, but it's kind of far away. Oh, like another state? Like East Coast, New York to Florida. Hee, Florida. Six months on the other side of America. Starts in New York City and travels the East Coast to Florida. It doesn't pay a lot, but I get a combination and food included. That sounds amazing. Six months. On the other side of the uh, U.S., not the world, and it's just six months. Uh, phone assist, video chat assist. Chloe, I need this. I need to try. I get that, but so far away, all we did to get here, to build life here, that was our new chapter in you, and it's been great. And it's still going to be great. A book has a lot of chapters, Chloe. This isn't about running away from anything. Least of all, you. It's about moving towards something. Look, you guys can't imagine what it's like to feel that there's another life out there. You could be living and it's not here. I can. The person who said I can was Max because Max is a time traveler and she has lived through different time jumps. So she has made all these memories with people and they don't know who she is 
And so now she is dealing with a terminal issue inside because she can't who who can she really talk to about this? It's a new different version of people. Um next page, I know what you're thinking. I know what you're feeling. I know you, and that's why I'm scared to tell you. I I'm being an idiot, only a little. I'm just gonna go. Matt sleeves because obviously the couple is having a vulnerable moment and you don't want to be dirt well when a couple is just like talking because it's not it feels awkward like what what i'm supposed to do so yeah that actually was the vulnerable moment Chloe and rachel had together uh, honestly throughout this uh chapter max sees the mystery guy again um trying to find out who he is um why that she could keep seeing him and nobody can and then this is these two pages are seen where now that eternal that I was talking about earlier is starting to come out a bit for Chloe I mean for Max yeah, I'm read it I'm packing for a journey I know I can't make because I don't know if there's a way to get back to where I want to be Chloe I don't know why I was pulled here like I have a right to walk in your life here and make it harder that's that's everything I don't want to do. There has to be a reason. That boy. I hate lying to you, but how do I even begin to share the truth without breaking what you have here? And, like I said, in the Life is Strange game, Chloe, I'm not Chloe, Rachel is dead. She's dead in the present, and then she's dead if you decide to save Chloe's father, William. So that seems to me that Chloe, that Rachel's death is inevitable. But in this... Well, it's good, Scorp, but in this uh, timeline, Rachel is alive. Don't know how, but Rachel is alive. That light was wrong. The transit lied to me. Maybe it lied to both of us. Maybe it's punish punishing us and you're there. I, one, one time, please. I spent so long trying to fix you, Chloe. I forgot I'm just as broken. It was me who wasn't at peace. Me who couldn't accept that you might want me for who I am. that But that understanding alone isn't opening a door back to you. I'm going to keep reading the next two pages. Because this, these are basically scenes where all that eternal that Max is feeling is coming out. Max, I can, uh, can I come in? That's Chloe. Yeah, it's fine, Chloe. What the? You were packing? Only symbol uh, a group. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, I know what I'm trying to say, though. Uh, Max, you don't need to tell me what a runaway bag looks like. I, I packed a lot of them in my time. Max, what the hell? You're scaring the shit out of me. Shit out of us. Out of me. I don't want to do that, but I guess I'm scared myself. Maybe I should use this bag after all. Uh, Max Crawford, don't you dare. Like, I'm going to let you shoulder whatever's going on alone. Please, talk to me. Let me help you. I... I really don't think you can, Chloe. Before Rachel and I came here, my mom reached out to me a lot. I slapped her hand time and time again. I didn't want her sympathy. I didn't want to burn at her. I was a hot mess. I was sitting on so much anger back then, I kept venting, venting it in all the wrong places. Rachel helped me step away from it. But it was a year before I spoke to my mom again. You and me, we lost a, a too much time. All right, I'm not losing another year. So talk to me before you run, okay? I promise. When you're ready, I'm here, Maximus. And this and that was the end of Max's internal. And I'm glad she kind of had a conversation with Chloe. And Chloe was like, I'm going to leave my door open. And even Rachel said, I'm going to leave my door open too. Whenever you are ready to talk to us about what's going on with you, we will be there for you. And then, of course, if you remember uh, book one, these were Max and Chloe's friend. But because Clo because Max jumped into a new timeline where Rachel is alive, they don't know her, but Max knows them. Skip this. And then chapter three, this is when we get a backstory of the mystery man and who he is and what's his deal. Um, 
I'm going to read a little bit of his backstory. I said $100, and I meant $100. I, I know, I know, but but what? This is business, kid. I definitely had eight when I left the house. Please, could you just take this for now? We'll take the stuff and then... And then it's like a name, but I cannot pronounce it. Someone just call him A.T. A.T., I think we should just go forget this. That's He was talking to his friend. It ain't that easy, kid. I've done my work, so I get paid. You kidding, Tris? We're only here because you wanted to stick it to your parents. Fuck you, man. Is this getting closer? Of course not. Plenty of shit to clean up in L.A. We the least of their problem. And your parent issues are not my issues. Take the drugs or don't. You still paid. You should actually call the cops? Oh, hell no. We didn't. We didn't. Oh, God. Can we just go? Can we just please, please? What the fuck did you do? Trist, Tristan, leave it. You want to make it worse? Run. Tristan, where the fuck? You bastard. LAPD, stay where you are. And then, boom. Tristan. Tristan is the name of the mystery guy. And his friend dies. But, da, da, da. I mentioned when I said earlier that Tristan, the mystery guy, before we got his name, has like a supernatural element to him. And I guess he disappears. He has like a visible power. And I think that happened due to trauma, which is this drug deal gone wrong. We have a gunshot pursuing suspects. That was the first time. Shit, we got a dead kid here. A.T., save him, please. I didn't understand it. How they just stopped seeing me. Stop hearing me. No. He can't be. He, no. Copy that. Yeah, looks to be, I don't know, 18, Asian, poor, stupid kid. I don't understand any of that night. Copy that. Get an ambulance here, though. No rush. This poor kid's not going anywhere. No, 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 no. And then Tristan comes back. All I understand was that my friend was dead and it was at my fault. So, <clears throat> right here, you can see kind of like a shadow. Tristan is invisible. But right here, Tristan is back soon as the cops leave. So, that is basically our back story of the mystery guy. His name is Tristan. Um, dun. Okay, this is Chloe and, no, this is Matt's and Rachel's moment of Rachel leaving the door open for Matt to, you know, be vulnerable and share what's going on. You okay? All I do, all I seem to do is hurt her. I don't want to hurt Rachel. I don't want to hurt her, Rachel, or you. I don't need me to tell you who Chloe is, Max. She wears her feelings pretty close to her skin. It makes her easy to love and easy to hurt. Believe me, Rachel, there are things I wish I could tell you both so badly, but I don't want to cause. Look, my dad had a secret that destroyed my family. Sometimes I wish I never found it out. I could have lived a happy oblivious. If you uh, played or watched Before the Storm, Rachel found out that her father... Um, was basically like an evil guy he paid her biological mother sarah to stay away from her even though sarah didn't take the money and then at the end of that episode he paid a drug dealer named damon to drug uh, sarah again so sarah would leave rachel alone and there it was two endings at that end of the episode either you tell rachel uh, what her dad did or you just keep it to yourself. And the reason why I told Rachel is because she always said Chloe was real. And Chloe wouldn't be real if she held that information. And plus, like, you don't want to die knowing a lie. But friendship is thicker than blood. We're more than a family mess. We chose each other. And I hope when you're ready, you can let us in. This is when Rachel opens the door and say, hey, Max, me and Chloe, not just me and Chloe together, but me individually and Chloe individually, we are leaving our door open for you to let be comfortable to come to us. Just don't leave it too long, okay? Things could change a lot in a month. Okay, skip. Boom. So during this scene, as you could tell from the first volume, 
after that storm, Max hasn't been using her powers. But because a scene happened with Tristan and the people who killed his friends, she ended up using her power. And this also, this is book Max and this is game Max. And this is the final chapter. And this is the same scene all over again. And you can tell it's the same scene because... Look. Is it? Okay. Yep. It's the same scene. Only difference is Max is in the picture in this one. This before she used her power. And then when she used her power... Max is not in this scene, but Max is still in this universe. Boom. Boom. Max gets kidnapped, and then Rachel and Chloe and Tristan, of course, comes to save the day. Boom. And then Max realized that she's ready to tell them what's going on with her and that is the end of volume two i appreciate everybody for coming through for my live review um after i highlight this i'm not leaving this vod up when i do these book reviews um i'm just gonna upload them to my youtube channel but i won't be leaving these vods up um tonight at 8 p.m also i will be playing I will be co-oping uh, Beyond Two Souls with my co-host, Sola Vane. Uh, we will be playing it on his channel. Um, so, make sure y'all check him out. If you didn't watch my first uh, book review, it's also on my YouTube channel. I will make this a playlist. And, um, you read my boy, Fresh. He just went live. Hold up, just. I'm doing it on my phone. So I appreciate you, Miami, and um, Scorp for coming. See you later.